Having a contact form on your Linktree page is a great way of allowing your followers to connect with you easily and quickly without them having to click off into their emails. So I'm going to show you how to add one to your own Linktree page and just to point out that I'm using a free account in this video. So let's crack on. So firstly log into your Linktree account and then click on Explore which is here. You have a section across the top called Recommended for You and Contact Form might be in there. If it's not, then scroll down to you get to the section called Grow Your Following and Contact Form will be there. And just click on that. So this brings you back to your links page and you'll see that the contact form is now open for you to edit as you wish. So the first thing I would do is give it a title. And then it's just a matter of going through the fields and toggling on and off the information that you want to collect on the form. So I want their name, their email address, I don't want their number, and I want the message, I'm not bothered about the country either. Then you select where the contact form responses go to, so for example an email address. Put in your email address. You can also add a description if you want to, and there's an option here to include a thank you message, which I really do think is needed, and you'll find out why later on in the video. If you've got a paid account, then you can link to your own privacy policy or terms and conditions here. Otherwise, if it's a free account like this one, then you have to leave this as is. So you can see any changes I make in the preview over on the right hand side. This is because I've toggled this particular contact form to be on here. So it's actually live on my page now. If I switch this to off, then it's disabled from my page and it disappears from the preview here. I'm just gonna quickly finish the form off by adding a thumbnail image and I want to do an icon. So I choose the icons here and I'm just gonna do a quick search for a question to get a question mark and that's the icon. That it's just so it stays in line with the rest of my links that I have on my page here, that they've all, they all have icons to the left of them. And now I'm gonna to toggle it back to on, so it's live on my page and I can see what it looks like on the preview here. So if I now click on the main link up here, it opens up the actual page. And you'll see the contact form is at the very top of all my links here with a drop down arrow to the right of it. So if you click on the arrow, it then expands the form. So you can see the fields that I chose and it's got the recapture, I'm not a robot thing here at the bottom. And you can see here, this is the one liner about submitting details. So this would be where it would link to your own privacy policy if you had a paid account. I'm just gonna quickly fill this out so you can see what happens. And I click send and there you can see my thank you message that I created. Now the person who completes the form doesn't get any notification email or automated response or anything. They only see the thank you message that's here if you've added one. This is why I mentioned earlier that I think you really do need to add a thank you message when you create the form. As the owner of the contact form, you get an email which looks like this. This is what you receive when somebody completes the contact form. So going back to your design, if you want to keep the form that you've created and all of its settings, but you don't want it to be visible on your Linktree page, then just toggle this to off. And if you want to remove the form completely with all the settings and everything, you want it to be gone completely, then click on the bin here to delete it and just delete this forever and click yes. So that's how to add a contact form to your Linktree page. If you're new to using Linktree, then you might find this video helpful. In it, I show you how to set up your own Linktree page from scratch using a free account. It includes everything like adding headers, images, and videos. I'll also include a link to it in the description below. I really hope you found this helpful. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.